Hello everybody, I'm doing it really close to my face because it's like the painting's right behind me and oh, you kind of saw it. I don't want you guys to see it yet. I don't know if I did a proper intro, so I'm gonna do one right now, but I just wanna say welcome to today's video. It's kind of like a vlog time-lapse thingy. I followed a Bob Ross painting tutorial on my bedroom wall. Um, I just wanna put a disclaimer out there. This video is inspired by Anja. Don't know how to properly say her name and I don't know if I'm saying it right, but she's made a few of these videos and they're super cool and so I was inspired to do that from her. And then I've also kind of just seen these before. And then coincidentally, Joanna Sedita, Sidi John Cena, she uploaded like, I painted a mural on my wall. I had this video idea before she uploaded that, but it was just like a coincidence the way things worked out. I guess credit to like both of them. Okay, I will see you guys in the next clip, ready? Today, I am, I look greasy, hold on. Right now, I'm gonna choose out a Bob Ross painting that I wanna follow. Skadoosh, let's hop onto the internet, the World Wide Web, and see what we can find. Ooh, wait, I like that one. Mmm, exactly what I was thinking of. Okay, guys, I think I found the tutorial that I'm going to follow. It's the Bob Ross Peaceful Reflection, season 15, episode four, if you guys were wondering. Um, I'm gonna paint that onto this wall right here. So I'm gonna move my mirror and I'm gonna paint this bad boy. We're gonna have so much fun and I am really have no clue how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> Let's go to Home Depot. Okay, so I just went in and saved all of the colors that he mentioned in the video. So now I'm gonna go to Home Depot and buy these colors. I hope it doesn't cost a fortune. So, hmm. Oi. Bye, everybody. No, I'm driving. Why do people use their teeth? That doesn't work. You're oh, on. Green light, let's go. Mm. Guys, I promise I'm such a good driver. Come on, buckle in. Come on, buckle in. Okay guys, we are in Home Depot. We got all the paint like started and the guy's making them right now. We're just kind of looking around. I love Home Depot because it smells really good and now I'm getting really off. So am I. Sorry. Why are you freaking out? Because I get so embarrassed. But Why? basically, people always stare at themselves in camera. Oh. Okay, now you gotta pay. Did you bring any money? What? We got the goods. I'm so excited. We got everything. Well, we got everything we need from Home Depot. Not sponsored. Uh -huh. Um, painting mode is about to be activated. Ooh, let's get this started. So first, I'm gonna move my mirror. I'm gonna move this, and then we're gonna paint this little, this little guy. done an intro but then I deleted it so I might have not have said this at the beginning but I am such an amateur painter I'm not claiming to be good at painting at all um I just am having such a hard time like blending the colors I don't know if it's 
because like I didn't give it a good enough base or if I just suck. I'm gonna just to that point where I'm just like, and I haven't even gone that far, but I'm gonna keep on going. It's fine. Um, it's fine. It's literally, it's fine. I just have a greater appreciation for Bob, Bobby boy. Maybe I don't have the right to call him that. Maybe, yeah, but like, I don't know, blending's really hard. But I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the mountain part. Crossing my fingers, wish me luck. I'm just gonna call it good with this guy. I've like tried redoing it so many times and it just keeps on getting worse and my camera battery died. So I had to get a new one, but like very interesting. Very interesting, that's all I'm gonna say. Just adding a little bit more blue right here. Oh, I made it worse. I started around 6 30 and it's like almost nine o'clock now i'm not like mad about how it's going so far but there's just so many things that aren't working out i mean i didn't like expect perfection but it's just that like things aren't blending well at all and it's like my fault like i know i didn't properly give it a good base and it's just not easy but you know, I'm not gonna be a Debbie Downer. We're gonna keep on going with this. Um, I'm gonna probably resume tomorrow after school. I'm gonna wash my hands. Good thing I'm gonna be repainting my room anyway. So if this goes horribly wrong, it's gonna be fine. It's all about the experience, right? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I would touch my lens, but then it would get paint, so I'm not gonna do that. This video is literally such a fail. This is so bad. It's gonna be me following the Bob Ross tutorial. Fail. Plus the thing is like the painting is it's pretty from afar, but it's far from pretty. Hello everybody. It is day two Okay guys, so it is day two of my hair makes me I look so I look so good right now. I look so good <laughs> Yesterday I felt like I was like becoming creatively drained like I was losing motivation So I just stopped and it was starting to get late, but I noticed that I don't have a fan brush And so my mom went yesterday while painting I got to the point in Bob's tutorial and he started using a fan brush and I did not own one of those So my mom picked one up from the store. I now have one I'm gonna change my outfit and then I'm going to get started on this My goal is to get it basically finished today. I have a math tutor coming over at like 7 So I need to finish up by then and it's like 4 o'clock right now So I'm gonna get like most of it done today and then I'll probably do the finishing touches tomorrow if I don't finish it today I wish the sky like blended out more. Maybe I'll like add some clouds. I don't know Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it and turn on some bops and <laughs> Let's do this <laughs> I want to get progressively smaller when... I thought it would also just be smart to show you guys what my setup is. So here's the wall so far it's <laughs> but then i have all my paint here on the tarp my room is atrocious yep that's embarrassing but all the paint's laid out right here and then i have my computer that's playing the tutorial so that's how i'm following it i've painted a few of the trees i need to go in and add some texture and depth i'm an artiste i have my window open and my door open most of the time so i it's pretty ventilated, but I do feel like I'm losing brain cells as we speak right now. <laughs> I don't have many to lose, so... finished most of it. I'm debating whether or not right now I want to paint clouds kind of to cover up the 
I can't talk right now. But I'm kind of wanting to paint clouds, even though Bob didn't do that, just to like cover up part of the sunset, like maybe like right there. So I think I might do that just for funsies. Looks so ugly. Okay, I think my painting's pretty much done. It's majorly ugly. I literally spilled some black paint all over the tarp. It's not on my carpet, but like I spilled it. And I'm pretty much done. So bad. It's so bad, guys. And I don't even want sympathy, pity comments in the comment section. I just, I did try though. But I'm, I'm running out of memory card footage right now. First off, <laughs> I spilled my, I, I'm so dumb because it's like, what did I expect? I had lids of unopened paint on the ground. I just kind of kicked over the black one and it spilled everywhere. But it's on the tarp, so it's like not ruining my carpet. But it's been a few hours. In some of the clips, you can probably see me like talking or laughing. I'm on FaceTime with one of, I was on FaceTime with one of my friends and so I was like talking while doing this, but I think I'm done. I'm gonna call it done. I just feel like I keep on adding to it and it's making it worse. Like it's making it look like a big blob, more blobish than it already is. But if I'm being honest, I'm gonna give myself credit. I tried. I definitely feel like I didn't prep it well and that's why it wasn't blending as well as I wanted it to. But I did try. Out of 10, I'd probably give myself like a solid five, five and a half, six. It's actually not bad from far away. Like if you're standing from far away, you're like, hey, that's not completely ugly. But like up close, you can definitely see how my texture was just very weird. I, I had such a hard time doing the reflections I'm going to show you guys what it looks like tomorrow in the natural daylight, but I will see you guys then. I already know that this is not gonna be satisfying because I did such a bad taping job. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> okay, sorry, give me that pep talk again. Well, Marla just came in here to show me her mural on her phone. She had taken a picture and she like right away like was excusing it that it doesn't look that great. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like your ability is better than my ability. So to discount the ability that you have is like a slap in the face to God, I said. <laughs> because like, you know, of course, like if you compare yourself to Bob Ross, you know what I'm saying? If Or if I compare no, myself right. to you, I am like, I cannot even do what Marla did on that wall. Yeah, and I'm just editing one of my videos right now. You gotta guys, get the good angles for me, guys. Well, this angle's so bad for me. But it's good for me. <laughs> okay, I'll in my In this team. video that I'm editing, I tell my viewers that your your channel sucks. <laughs> okay, I say what it is. I'm formally apologizing to you guys for every single time I had a self-deprecating comment in this video. Because, you know, I'm Be great. Grateful. I'm great in my own way. Be grateful for any ability you have. Because... No, you're right. Like, I am just grateful I even have, like, hands to do that, you know? I always tell my kids, if you look for the good, you'll find it. If you look for the bad, you'll find it. So why not just look for the good? Guys, wise woman right there. <laughs> Listener. Hi, guys. So I got home from school not that long ago. But I basically have concluded that I'm done. Here it is in the flesh. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Well, that was the dumbest thing I've ever said. Nah, that's probably not the dumbest thing I've said, <laughs> but. So, I think I'm gonna call it a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. It's kind of, I just wanted to have fun with it and I definitely did have fun doing this. It was just honestly so therapeutic to just paint. And it was extra fun because it was literally on my bedroom wall. And plus I do know that like I can just cover this up with more paint. Since I'm gonna be repainting my room anyway, I'm not that stressed about it. But it's honestly not bad. Like. I would keep it for a while. Um, so I'm just gonna say thank you for watching it. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed it, my video and you liked it and you want to see more of my videos. Then just hit the little subscribe button and you'll be good to go. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it helps my video get out there more. That's what I'm all about. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Unless anything compared to Bob Ross's, it's just not gonna be the same. But I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Good day, mate. Bye. Adios. Bye, guys. See what happens. As you paint, you'll see all kind of things happening on your canvas. And very soon, you learn to use all these beautiful little things that happen. I think in one of the earlier shows I mentioned, we don't, we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents.